Emmett Miss. He's trying to drink it. For me, that you take it from me. I'm gonna have to go pee like in the bush. Now that is adulting. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Right. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. You are winner, Julia Renee. Take it. Give it back. Those no. are off limits. No. Give it back. No. You said you didn't like this flavor. That's my favorite. You're making it all carbonated. It's mine now. Oh. Mine. Did I buy those for me? Yeah. That's Only me. <laughs> From me. Good morning, buff babes and bros. <laughs> and welcome back to another video. If are new here, my name is Julia Renee and I'm an IFBB wellness pro. And I want to welcome you to my Road to Olympia series. Zach and I were fighting over my favorite energy drink. If you guys know and you have been watching my channel for the past couple of weeks, you know that that has been my favorite energy drink. And I have to go <laughs> to go to like a specific place to find it because they don't have it at gas stations. And he's trying to drink it. But I was nice. And after about 30 minutes of fun, I'm just kidding. I let him have it. But Anyways, in today's video, we are going to be doing a refeed day. I'll go into a little bit later with Zachary, if you will, come on to explain why we're doing this one refeed day and what it has actually been. It's not really a refeed day, actually. It's more like a high carb day. And in my previous video on Monday, you saw that this was something that we were going to do potentially. And as you saw, I lost more weight this morning. We're gonna do a little bit of a mini check-in and kind of talk about the plans going forward. But I figured I would share some of my meals with you that I'm gonna be eating on my high carb day. I'm gonna get pancakes.
Okay, guys, we are finished with cardio. I had to, look at my little curlies right now. <laughs> Cute. I literally had to finish or er, stop early because I had to pee so bad. And I was like, Ugh, I don't wanna have to get off. And then I was like, oh, you're about to pee in your pants. You ever have those moments where you're like, starting to think like, okay, I'm gonna have to go pee like in the bush or yeah, it was a frightening moment, but we made it. Now I'm trying to fix my hair. Ooh. So my mom showed me this like cute way to do a bun. So I have been doing it every single day because like I just can't stand having my hair down like at all, it's crazy. I don't know how I used to do it. But like, I added these like two little braids, but basically what you do is you just bring your hair up and then you do the bun. And then with these two extra pieces in the back, the tails, you can literally just like wrap it around and like tuck it. I want them to go two separate ways so you can like, do that and then you just tuck it. Look how cute. So all I need to do is really like tuck it behind here. And if you want to bobby pin it, you can, but like if you're just too lazy like me, you could just tuck it like that. A boom! And you don't even need to have the braids. So you guys know that usually I'm supposed to finish this whole thing before I leave cardio, but I still have I almost just dropped it. Still have some left, so we're gonna chug it. Do it with me. Literally, if you have a if you have a problem getting food in, food. This is water. If you have a problem getting water in, just chug. Like literally, just chug. Done. And then fill it up again. Now that is adulting. about that time again, guys, to go and get my lashes done. Are y'all ready for the sickest transition ever, ever, right? Yay! I feel like I can sweep the ground with my lashes. That's how I like them. One thing that I have been noticing, guys, is that I am getting so cold everywhere now because whenever your body fat percentage starts to drop like you have less fat that's you know protecting you and keeping you nice and warm and like it's such a beautiful day outside and it's like sunny and there's a little breeze normally i wouldn't be cold but i'm like weekend coming up. Tomorrow is Friday, so I'm actually doing a photo shoot tomorrow, so I have to wake up really early, get my cardio done before the photo shoot, then prep for the photo shoot, go to the photo shoot, and then I'm leaving to Alpha Land. So I'm gonna work out today a little bit earlier so that I have time to pack. You guys saw my second meal of the day, which we did the little chicken sausages, and I had a full cup of white rice. It was so good. If you haven't had white rice in a long time, especially like when you're prepping for a show, it tastes literally like sugar in your mouth. So 
I'm gonna have my pre-workout meal a little bit early. We're gonna do three ounces of beef and I'm gonna do it with the ketchup and mustard and pickles because it tastes like a burger. And then I get three fourths cup of oats. If you haven't had three fourths cup of oats, it is a lot of oats, but I'm excited. story of my life is literally just making sure that I measure things out at the perfect amount. It's a great life to live. Three fourths cup of oats. Whoppa. And then half of this. Ooh, got my piggly pickles. I've been digging the spicy ones lately. And I am just going to cut it up in the bowl because that's how lazy I am, okay? The more convenient, the better, in my opinion. Damn, this is a giant pickle. Little bit of mustard, little bit of ketchup. Come on. And most importantly, mix her up real nice. And there you have it, my friends. Burger in a bowl. Then we have three-fourths cup of oats. Just look at that. Well, I'm just gonna enjoy that meal real quick and put a little bit of makeup on and then we'll do a little check-in together. Check-in. Checking in. We're checking in. Whoopee! And just like that. Glamorous. Hey guys, I just wanna show you a little bit how we are looking this week. So much leaner, my legs, my abs. April, so my weigh-in from last week on this day was March 31st. I was 150.2. So let's trace even further back. Right before we did this new diet drop and cardio change, I was 153.4. The first week of doing the cardio and diet change, I went to 150.2 in a week. And then this week is the second week that we're on it and I went to 147.8. And the cool thing is that my waist now, let's see, in less than a month went down an inch. So now, let's see, March 11th, I was had a 27 inch waist and now we're April 7th. And it's 26 guys. So just to give you guys kind of like an idea of like where we're shooting for weight wise and like waist wise for weight. My last show, I was 138. That was the, light, the lightest that I got on stage and that's what got me my pro card. But we're wanting to be a lot leaner than that this time. I also put on more muscle this time, so it's kind of hard to tell where I'm going to be sitting at because I have more muscle, so there's a chance that I, you know, can look leaner and weigh a little bit more. So 138 is like just kind of a rough estimate. And then my waist, I think, was maybe like a 25 last time, and now we want to get it to a 24 inch waist. When you're seeing this, we have eight weeks to do that, which is totally doable. So I'm excited. 24 inch waist. Here we go. Okay, this is the C4 Skittles. I've been wanting to try this, so I like the Starburst one, so I'm like, ouch. 
and made a mess in my car. I don't. Now the question is, does it taste like Skittles? I give it like a six and a half. It's okay. So I'm at the gym and I'm doing that thing where you sit in the car and you sit and you like wait for motivation to fall in your lap, but it never does. And you just have to force yourself to just like go. I'm not too thrilled about doing this workout today. I really want to be home watching TV, eating potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't do that. Eat potato chips and watching TV at home is not going to get me to the Olympia. So we're going to force this. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a really good workout. You never know. We did it! Oh, I'm so tired now. But we did it, and it was actually a pretty good workout, so I'm proud of it. And we finished our cardio and everything, and I get to go home to some more high carb meals. So, positive vibes only. We got a package in the mail from First Form. Let's see. I got more Alpha Surge. This is the pump product. And it's in Raspberry Lemonade, which is my favorite. Oh, Opti Greens, of course. Take it every morning with the Opti Reds. Okay, what else do we have? More hair, skin, and nails. I've been using this for like over a year now, and my hair is so shiny and so long. There was a point after my last prep where I got my breast implants done and I got off birth control for it and my hair started falling out in ch like chunks. It was so bad. So it's finally growing back. I This is something new that I'm going to be using and it's a probiotic. I don't know why I haven't gotten this from them before. So I'm excited to add this to like the gut health routine that I got going on. Night tea. This is the nighttime supplement I have been taking. I only got one of them. Baby, I forgot that I got one, so just get one. And then I got these for my mom because she really likes them. These are like a super easy snack that you can bring with you anywhere. This is the seasoned barbecue protein sticks. Let me show you what they look like. Sorry, mom, I'm opening your present because I have to show the people what it looks like. Okay, so it like comes in a little package like this and you can just take them out, boom. This one's 200 calories, I believe, and then nine grams of fat, 20 grams of protein. It's perfect whenever I'm, you know, able to eat these in the off season. 
I just stick them in my backpack and they're a perfect snack to like hold you over. Lots of protein too. And then the other flavor I got was the original Smokehouse. They also have a jalapeno heat one. And then there's another flavor, but I can't remember. Something like teriyaki, but they're really good. Okay guys, here I have Zachary, my coach, to explain the program that we've been doing and why it's working. Yeah, so Julia has consistently over the last, I don't know, every prep that she's done, she loses the first 10 pounds pretty easily um, based off science, and then her body starts to resist, so we have to do some creative things to get it to go. Uh, so now we've seen data from the last two weeks, and in the last two weeks you've dropped six pounds. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what we've done is, is that we've gone with a lower carb, uh, lower calories for six days of the week. Um, cardio is on those days. We only have five days of cardio. And then we have one really high carb day, which we're planning out on her leg day. Now the higher carbs uh, and the higher calories as well boost the metabolism on that day. She's hungrier on these days. Today is one of her high carb days. And then after that, there's going to be a metabolic increase that burns through the next couple of days. Then she is on her lower carbs and calories with the cardio and the workouts that she's doing. And then she takes a day off on Wednesday and her check-in day is on Thursday. So what happens is with the day off, again, your body gets to recover, recover all the internal systems, uh, your muscles, uh, even your blood circulation, your hormones, everything recovers during that time. And then we've seen a consistent weight drop after her day off. Mm -hmm which I know a lot of you guys are like, I need to work out all the time, I need to do things all the time. If you listen to our podcast, we talk about the importance of off days for this reason, and her body's responding very well now to this cycle, so to yeah. speak. So one high carb day, the rest are lower carb day, lower, lower calorie days, and then a strategic off day that is creating the same pattern, and she's lost six pounds so far in the last two weeks. Yeah, so basically training hard um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday we have the rest day, and then Thursday we have planted the higher carb day on the, basically like I told you guys before, the leg day that I need to grow the most on. So we've planted these in specific areas for a reason, and then after the high carb day, which is today, we go back into low and we repeat it, and it's been working really well having it right after the rest day because there's times where after my rest day, I will literally lose weight after my rest day. And this was even before we started doing what we were doing. It's just because your body gets so inflamed from doing the cardio, from training. So literally just giving it a complete off day where you're just chilling, or maybe you just like do a walk around, like walking your dogs or something. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. And it's working really well. Secondly, we wanted to talk to you guys about the Fit Couple Shred, which is a 12-week challenge that Zach and I are going to be doing together. I know on my last video, I told you guys a little bit about it, but I wanted to go in depth with it with Zachary. And I'll let him take it away again because words are not good right now. Okay, so <laughs> with this 12-week challenge, in the sense of what are you going to get? So obviously we have 12 weeks of nutrition planning. In the nutrition planning, we can all either do calories and macros, and you can do if it fits your macros, or we can give you a meal plan, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. We will give the calories and macros inside of the meal plan. So you're getting all the education in a sense of understanding what your numbers are and how they're moving. Mm -hmm. Then we have our weekly check-ins that are gonna be through the app. Again, so accountability through every single week. Uh, also, if you get a chance to actually be a part of the challenge, you'll see how I, because this is something that I do in running the check-ins, and it's a very, it's a lot more detailed check-in. It doesn't take a lot of time, but this extra bit of information that I extract really makes sure that I'm making an educated plan for you. 
Then with the workout programs, uh, again, we have video led workout programs, myself and Julia leading them, customized to whatever you wanna do. If you are at home, we have at home workout programs, again, at the gym, whatever it is, we're able to serve you in that way. And then what I'm really excited about is the fact that we're gonna be doing 12 group calls on Zoom with me and Julia and you all that wanna be a part of it and actually help you through the mindset and also teaching you nutrition and training and all these different things so that when you're done with the challenge, literally you're equipped with everything you can need, not only physically, but again, what I do now in the majority of the time, <laughs> besides doing bodybuilding coaching, is consciousness coaching, emotional intelligence, understanding how to manage stress, anxiety, understanding your triggers, understanding how to not self-sabotage, understanding how to get rid of this illusion of inadequacy and really step into true confidence within yourself. So this is gonna be a total transformation program and we're really excited about leading it together. And the winner of the challenge is going to get flown out here to Austin, Texas to spend a day with Zach and I and Vision. If Vision wants to come, he's a little diva, he might not be able to. But we're really excited, so it's going to be the first link in the description if you guys wanna check it out, get more information about it, and yeah. <sighs> okay guys, I am getting ready to wind down for the night. I have a pretty busy weekend and I am just exhausted, so. I am going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini update. I'm excited because next week we're going to do a full physique update and we are going to do a DEXA scan, which I've never done one before. So I will see you then. I love you all so much and you are more powerful than you think.